So which one of you are ready for some really juicy vegan content? Go ahead and spike things up a little bit here. Let you know what kind of stuff the vegans resort to when things don't quite go their way. There is a carnivore doctor. She has her own online practices. Um, I will link her in the description box here. And she's a very nice lady. She does a lot of work online. She's helped a lot of people heal. And she posted something on her page about this vegan that has been attacking her page and just destroying her page and something like 30 or 40 something negative reviews on her page just overnight from this guy so what he did is he ran and grabbed a bunch of his vegan friends and then he came forward and he had all these people go over to her page and just trash her page leave all these reviews and stuff like that and her rating dropped down crazy and then all of a sudden she's having to challenge these reviews and what's going on and get the people in the administration involved to let them know this is fraudulent what this guy's been doing so then she's telling us about it and it, there's a place in the uk it's a restaurant called veg heads v-e-g-h-e-a-d-s veg heads and the guy that runs the place his name is matt Pryor. well i go to his page i'm checking things out i don't know who he is at first and I'm looking around his page and stuff like this, and he's talking all this stuff about things that he has no idea. He, he runs a restaurant. He has no idea about nutrition at all. And he's giving these people advice about uh, being vegan and how it's good for you and how you get all these, these bioavailable nutrients and stuff like that, which is the furthest thing from true because we all know there you don't get bioavailable nutrients in bulk from vegetables and fruits. If you want things that your body can use immediately that they don't have to convert two and three times before there's almost no product left over, you get that from organ meats, animal meats, things like that that the body can actually break down immediately with no little to no byproduct at all because that is the natural way for us to eat. So I leave some comments debunking and disregarding things that he said just like he did to her and his friends did to her. And I'm going to show you the email he sends my general manager because he's so salty about everything that goes on. He's trying to get me fired from my job. Because I did such a great job of letting people know this guy's a fraud. He's putting out bad information and he should not be going and attacking somebody else's channel and then not expecting somebody to do that to him. But when the rubber meets the road and it's time to, to, to put out what you're put or to get what you're putting out, he couldn't take it. The little guy's knees started quivering, he starts shouting all the profanities and stuff online, attack, 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 attack. I want to show you what this is. So this guy contacts my GM. He says, hi guys, firstly, this is not my postal code as I'm based in the UK. I have a huge concern about one of your workers, Richard Paso. He has openly and aggressively attacked my business online, targeting friends and business associates of mine too. I simply left a negative review on a doctor's page regarding her nutrition advice. And based on this, your employee has taken it upon himself to do his best to defame my business. He didn't just leave one negative comment. He was fuck this and fuck that and all this other stuff and saying all these nasty words and stuff to her. This is not only, I mean, he was trashing her page terribly and had like 40 other vegans giving her negative reviews and saying stuff as well. So this guy's a clown and he can't even own up to his own mistakes completely without lying about it. I am in no way happy about making this formal complaint about this individual. I just feel it was important that you should know what he gets up to in his own time. Who the hell cares what I do in my own time? My employer sure doesn't. As long as these cars get fixed and get out of this building and he's making money and I treat the customers correctly, who cares what I do in my free time? Obviously, this guy does. Another salty vegan. He is incredibly destructive and rude online and was easy for me to see the link you directly rather than through social media reviews like he has. First of all, this guy is basically, in so many words, threatening to give him negative reviews if he doesn't do something about me. And then, when I emailed him directly, I actually emailed this guy directly, he says that, do you really want me to go on there? Do you really want me to leave negative reviews? Shut up and do this and do that and leave me alone and all this other stuff. I said, no, dude, you're a liar. You are a complete liar. And this is... This is the face of veganism right here. This is what they stoop to. This is how they will try to dox people right here. 
This is what they say we do, that they clearly do, and now I have proof of. If you need screenshots of what he has published or anything else, please let me know. I am awfully sorry to have to reach out to you like this, but because of him, I have endured the worst 24 hours since I opened my business. I do not want this to continue. Thank you for your time. Kind regards, Matt. As far as I'm concerned, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And if Matt sees this video and you want to try me, punk, try me. I'm not the person to play with. I'm not worried about losing my job because I'm damn good at doing my job and I definitely don't need some vegan chump trying to threaten me or my employer. The reason I put this out today is because my general manager no longer works here anymore. I feel comfortable talking about this now because it doesn't lay back in his lap. Out of respect for him, I've waited weeks to even talk about this because I didn't want him to have to deal with anything. This guy is a shill. This guy contacted my employer because his little feelings got hurt. And if he really wanted to, because he contacted my lawyer, there's laws put in place where people can't do stuff like this, calling employers and stuff for things that doesn't make any sense, trying to get them fired, knowing that he has his own business to worry about. He wants to worry about more, more of what I'm doing at my work. If your business is solely based offline and you're worried about people attacking your business, then stay in your damn lane and don't go on somebody else's channel doing the things that you do knowing that it could bite you in the ass. How about using a little common sense or using a little smarts? But maybe you're so deficient in nutrients you can't think that way properly. Be blessed.